Hello, my name is David Baines. I'm the wine consultant for Chart House Auctioneers in Sherburn in Dorset. And we hold quarterly wine auctions at the moment. And there's one coming up in November. Uh, November the 20th, I think it will be. Although the auction is two day auction, 19th and 20th. So I think the wine section usually is on the Friday. We have quite a wide selection of things in this particular auction. Some really interesting cases of wine, such as there's two cases here, 2005 and 2006, Grand Van Chateau Peugeot from Bordeaux. Those will achieve probably in excess of £200 each. There's also two cases of 2005 and 2006, Chateau Chasplin. That's a really popular wine at the moment and, and drinks very, very well. That one, a little bit more, probably 250 to 300 We've also got... For those of you who love living dolls, we've got about 40 odd bottles of Cliff Richards wine from Portugal, from his, his Vida Nova in Portugal, which he's terribly, terribly proud of. Um, we've only sold a few bottles before, but there's, there's a lot just come in. Uh, probably will achieve somewhere in the region of five to 10 pounds per bottle, maybe a bit more with, uh, with the living doll syndrome. We've also got quite a lot of champagne in this auction, and in particular, some of the Dom Perignon. This one is a vintage uh, 2002. Dom Perignon is the finest champagne from the Moyen Chandon house. And uh, in 1670, 1668 to 1670, one of the Benedictine monks called Dom Perignon was the cellar master at uh, the, the um, monastery in Hautevier in, um, in the Champagne region. And he was responsible for, for perfecting this method of keeping bubbles in a Champagne bottle. Um, incidentally, the Dom in Dom Perignon is an honorific title for a Benedictine monk. Dom being short for Dominus, which means Lord. Also we've got Quite interestingly, we've got two bottles here, one bottle of Lafitte Rothschild and one bottle of Mouton Rothschild. First growth Bordeaux. What do I mean by first growth Bordeaux? In 1855, all the wine producers in the Bordeaux region of France got together, tasted one another's wines. And eventually, after a couple of weeks it took to get through it all, they came up with four that were classed as being the best the Premier Grand Cru Classé, and they were known as first growths. There was Chateau Latour, Chateau Haubriand, Chateau Margaux, and Chateau Lafitte Rothschild. In 1973, there was one more added, and this is Chateau Mouton Rothschild, and they managed to secure a first growth status. One of the characterful things about their bottles, and that makes them collectible, is that the labels change every year because they make uh, they get they employ an artist to to paint a picture which goes on the top of the label. This one is by um, a Dutchman called Carol Apple, and he, he has depicted here two drinkers uh, cavorting around a totem pole. So whether it has that effect on you when you drink it or not, I'm not sure. It sounds like fun. But it does. We also have a half bottle here of black and white whiskey. It's got a clip cap, which means that it is pre-decimal and it hasn't, it hasn't got the, the uh, alcohol expressed as percentage. It's got the alcohol expressed as 70 proof, which is actually 40% alcohol. The person that sent that in, was, well, before they sent it in, they were very kind to send me a letter with some pictures in, because that really helps us to... Um, to get evaluation, an accurate evaluation. Uh, so either email or send a picture, it doesn't make any difference. Further along here, we've got another two pretty expensive bottles, similar to the, the first growths, which should be three, 300 pounds a bottle, something like that, two to 300. This is Chateau Yquem, which is the finest and sweetest wine from the Bordeaux region, uh, usually achieving Again, two to three hundred pounds a bottle. But this time we have 
six bottles in a, in a wooden case of this one. And that is quite a rarity because that is a E de E chem and that is a dry wine because this is lusciously sweet and you can tell that by the colour, by the golden colour. This is fairly dry uh, and six bottles, probably five or six hundred pounds, somebody will pay for those at auction for the experience of drinking a dry he can. Thank you David. So when is the auction date? The auction date is the 19th and 20th of November. And when's and the deadline? The deadline day, in other words when we like to have things in so that we can start to promote them and start to get um, people interested in coming to the auction and having a look at us and having a look at the wines uh, on Tuesday the 3rd of November. So that's uh, not brilliant. Fun. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Thank you.